Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. In this video, we will animate a shape layer as we pay special attention to how the shape layers have multiple levels of transform controls. If we look at our project you can see I have a background space illustrator layer. I have a shape layer called planet outlines, and if I turn that off and on you'll notice I have two different planets that are contained within this one shape layer. That's right shape layer can contain multiple objects, if I go ahead and open up my shape layer here in the content section. You'll notice I have a group of planets, and in there I have a small planet, and I have a big planet. And then I have transformed options for both the planets as well as transform options for the layer itself. So just understand when you have transform options for a group of shape layers. If you go ahead and rotate those elements usually the anchor point will be centered somewhere in between those shapes. So just undo that last command here. So what if I want to rotate around the center of the composition? Typically the anchor point remains around the center of the composition so, if you rotate on the layer itself, it will go ahead and rotate around the center of the composition. Alright just undo that last command. Now let's look and see what happens when you have a single object on the shape layer. I'll collapse layer 2 and open up the options for layer 1 my moon layer. Notice I have a group for the moon. And if I open that moon group you can see I have an ellipse that makes up the moon. And there's a stroke, but its visibility is off. There's a gradient its visibility is on. And then I have transform options for the moon group. I'm gonna make the timeline panel a little bit larger. And I want you to notice there's transform that's for the layer itself. This is transformed for the moon itself. So if I go to the rotation and I scrub you'll notice the gradient is moving around, and it's rotating around itself, because I have one object on the shape layer. So the transform options pertain to this single object. Now if I go to the top and select my shape layer moon and press R for rotation. This will open up the rotation on the transform properties for the layer. Just to show you that I'll collapse layer 1 and open it up and notice here are my contents. Which contains my moon group. Which contains my transform options for the main group. But here for transform, when I go to scale. Or I go to the rotation. You'll notice these elements pertain to the layer itself. So I want to go ahead and animate the moon orbiting around this planet. And since the planet was at the center of the composition the moon will easily orbit around the planet by just going ahead and keyframing this rotation. So I will set the rotation parameter to zero at frame zero. And click the stopwatch. Then I'll go ahead and move three seconds down the timeline. And I will say I wanted to have rotated one full rotation around this planet. So I will say 1 and press enter. Then if I move my current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar. You'll see I have the moon rotating around the planet. And that rotation parameter was set up with the transform options for the layer. Which is separate from the transform options for the moon group. Now, remember shape layers can contain multiple levels of control for each individual object within the shape layer. As well as transform controls for the overall layer itself. What you learned. How to animate shape layers using multiple transform options. When multiple shapes are on a single shape layer each individual shape will typically have its own set of transform controls anchored to the shape itself, in addition to the transform controls for the layer. Transform controls for a layer are centered on the layer, which is generally in the center of a composition. Grouping multiple shapes within a shape layer give you another set of transform controls centered between those objects. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.